Scorpion News is a public forum for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions do not necessarily represent those of the HUSD. Hi Scorpions, welcome back to the new school year. I'm Caitlin here with the first broadcast of the year. I hope you're all having a great start of the year. Let's get started off with the announcements. Our home opener football game is this Friday. General admission is $10 unless you have an activities card. Then it's free. So go to the student store with $40 cash or check and you will get a free t-shirt and free admission to this and all home sporting events. If you have any questions about the ASB card, you can always talk to Mr. Adito, the activities director. He's one of the many amazing administrators we have here on campus. We thought it'd be a good idea to introduce you to them in case you didn't know who they are and what they do. Take a look. I'm Mr. Gibbons. I'm in the student support office. I'm one of the vice principals. Uh, I mainly talk and cover the students with the last name M through Z, but uh, Mr. Padilla is the other vice principal in there, and he's A through L, but we help each other out all the time. So um, if we can support you with anything, uh, don't hesitate to ask. We're here to help you guys. Hi, my name is Mr. Padilla. I am the vice principal in the student support office uh, alongside of Mr. Gibbons. And we're here to help you out with anything you need. So if you want to talk about something, have any issues or whatever it is, we want to help and support you. have been at the school for about 16 years now. It's an amazing place. I feel at home here, so I hope you can too. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Ms. Rodriguez, your assistant principal. My job here at Hesperia High School is to, I build the master schedule. So I make sure that we have all the right teachers teaching the right things for you guys. Uh, I also take care of purchases, so purchasing things that your teachers need like Membean or Nearpod and then also classroom supplies as well. Uh, if you ever need anything, you're, you feel like we're missing something, come talk to me. I'm always out in the quad at lunch. Hi Scorpion Country, my name is Mr. Hallett. I am your athletic director. Um, really my job here on campus is to oversee all the athletic programs. Uh, that we have on campus, uh, that of which we have 14 uh, different programs and cheer. And so really what I do is, is uh, overseeing those. I'm, I'm doing a lot of hiring and picking uh, coaches, um, generally the best coaches, uh, to, to oversee those programs. So um, I'm responsible for ordering uniforms and balls and um, obviously making sure conditions of fields and gyms are, are taken care of, um, but really just a, a support person and uh, the biggest fan on campus. So. That's my job. Hey, I'm Mr. Ardito. Uh, I am the Vice Principal of Activities here. I'm in charge of all the fun stuff we get to do on campus like pep rallies, dances, um, all kinds of activities after school. So if you want something fun to do, you want to get involved with the club, you come see me. Hey Scorpion Country, it's Mr. Everett here, uh, Principal. I love this school. I've been here now 13 years. Uh, this is my sixth year as the principal and there's no place I'd rather be. I believe in the students we have here. I know we have the greatest teaching staff in the entire high desert. So you were all lucky to be here. I feel blessed to be here every single day. But I just want to say hi. You see me out on campus. Uh, come over, shake my hand, fist bump, and uh, say hi to me. Hope you have a great day. Thank you all for those introductions and for always being so supportive. Back to the announcements. Your books are on sale. Prices are at the lowest of the year right now. So get yours paid for now at the student store. Prices are $70 with an activities card and $80 without. You can also make a $10 deposit and make payments to lock in the low price. Also, the yearbook team is hosting auditions for senior favorites. Who do you think is most likely to show up to school late? Well, with these new school times, I don't think any of one should be showing up late. For more on the impact of late school start times, here's Saul, Gisela, and myself with the story. Last month, schools across California began following the 2019 law that requires high school students to start no earlier than 
This isn't something new for HHS. Our school has been following this since last year to prepare for the statewide change. So I think the biggest impact I've seen from us starting a little bit later is that we're getting out later, which has really impacted our student athletes. And with the time change, we haven't been able to change start times for games, so they have to leave class a little bit earlier, which is a, is a negative for them, but they're doing a great job trying to stay on top of their work. A study published in the journal Science Advances has shown that students get a half hour more sleep per night and are less likely to be late to school. Um, I know for sure I'm able to focus more and not doze off in class as often. However, there are some students and families who argue that late start times are cutting into sports, jobs, and other extracurricular activities. It kind of impacted my late or whatever activities after school because uh, I have practice and I end pretty late, so um, after any practice, I hardly get any time to do anything that I want because I had to do practice and I had to do homework after, then right after I had to eat and go straight to sleep and then repeat after that. So don't really get much time to do any activities at their schools. So, yeah. Given the positive data from California schools so far, other states are thinking of implementing late start times across all grade levels. This is one of many steps to go in order to improve the educational outcomes of all students. From Scorpion News, I'm Saul Alvarez. Thank you to whoever made the new start time. My sleep has been revived. Senior, your senior portrait must be taken by Olsen Photography to be in the yearbook. Be sure to call them and make your appointment at 760-961-9000. If you are interested in pitching ideas for your senior year, like events, fundraisers, etc., come to A5 during lunch every Tuesday. Freshmen, this Friday, August 26th, is our annual Fresh Friday in the quad from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is a free event exclusively for freshmen, including food, games, candy. All freshmen who attend will get a free admission to our first home varsity football game that night. Don't be shy. Come out for this event and start making memories. Coming into high school as a freshman can be hard. Sometimes you may need to hear some advice from upperclassmen. Here's a video from freshmen. Ask seniors. Answer. <music> How can I enjoy my high school experience to the fullest? I, I feel like you should not take everything too seriously, you know? Have fun, you know, make jokes, because uh, it's only on four years, and these four years are probably going to be potentially the best years of your life. So I feel like if you don't take things seriously, and uh, you mess around a little bit, joke around, you'll have a really nice time. How fast did the school years go by, and how do I make the most of them? Um, they go by pretty fast. Like I rem I feel like I'm still like a, probably like a junior right now. But um, what is it called? I think <laughs> I think you should just like join like a lot of clubs, sports, go to all the, like the games, like um, participate in school events. You know, have fun. Why should I join clubs or sign up in sports? I think getting involved is really important in high school. Um, it lets you have fun with your friends and your classmates and lets you do things other than just do homework all day. How have you managed schoolwork and activities in high school? The thing is like finding a balance between like schoolwork and activities. So you have to put your schedule into perspective. Like if you work or whatever, like you have to put your work hours and your school hours and your activities hours and find a way to break it down into the simplest way possible because that makes everything so much easier. If you look at it like a clump, you're just going to stress yourself out. So break it down, take it step by step, and don't overstress because freshman year is the easiest year. What advice do you have for when you're struggling in your classes? The advice I have when you're struggling in class and falling behind is go to tutoring and don't be afraid to ask questions because if you never ask questions, your teacher's not going to be able to help you and then you're just going to fall more behind on your work and then your grades are going to start slacking. So as soon as you're struggling, go to tutoring or ask one of your friends, teachers, somebody that you know that you can trust will give you good help with anything that you're struggling with. Do grades actually matter and when should I take things seriously? Grades matter as a freshman because you don't want to fall behind on your credits and if we have to take the classes again as a senior. Yeah, and you should like um, start from the top, like from the bottom I mean. So freshman year you should really do pay attention because it will affect you throughout your life. Are relationships in high school a good idea or a bad idea? Uh, I would say no. I'd rather say just enjoy life, 
make a lot of friends and live your teenage years. Hope some of that advice could help. Looks like senior year won't be so scary after all. Well, that is it for me, Scorpions. We hope you enjoyed the first episode of the year. I'm Caitlin, signing off. What's up, guys? Today we're going to be asking teachers and students what's on the lock screen. Follow me. What's your lock screen? My girl. Let's see it. <laughs> Good Sam. <laughs> Yo. Yo, George. What's up, what's up? Can I ask you a question? Yes. What's your lock screen? On lock screen? Yeah, let's see it. Um, well, let me click my notifications. A few minutes later. It's that. What is that? It's a picture I like. I don't know. I found it on the internet. <laughs> Show us your lock screen. My, what? <laughs> your lock screen. You gotta unlock it. You gotta show her just nothing. What do you mean? <laughs> my lock screen. That's, That's your lock screen? That's my lock screen. Yeah, yeah. The brightness up? Alright. Let me clear everything real quick. Or actually, I can just do this. What's this? It's a, uh, it's juice that Ju says Black Swan. <laughs> Ain't that dope? All right, I'm out. So what's your lock screen? My lock screen. This is black, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> it's basic. <laughs> Thank you. Show us your lock screen. Oh, okay. 